Yeah, yeah. And, and don't, don't hesitate to, you know, like any anything, anything that we could, anything that we could do, be it, you know, uh, any anything, you know, uh, helping with the thought process, helping with with, uh, you know, ideas that uh, that you may have that that could be relatable to our ancient. I am one hundred percent. Uh, anything I could do, just or anything we we could we could bring to the table, a- anything at all, you know, just don't I, don't be shy. Yeah, <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, and that's the thing. That's the thing. I, in order to make Odyssey a fire or reality, you know, gotta have all these different minds on it because it's such a. I don't want it to just be me, you know. Like I want to be, you know, the leader behind the story but i'm open to other people saying you know let's do this well i think i I think that's incredibly important and a lot of people let their ego and their you know their self indulgence get in the way of true creativity and you know collaboration which it's like they tell you in film school that you know collaboration is what what gets you to the end goals and like it, that's that can't be more true you know and like it's important yeah. to not let your ego get in the way and to allow for collaboration because that's how you're going to get the best creative process yeah and i believe that that ideology in all art not just yeah. film I feel like you know in music it's i mean you can be a solo artist but i always feel it's good to have inspiration from other people you know idea you know people give you ideas and you you credit them you know say like this this song is a from a friend of mine you know stuff like that yeah well that's exactly how the process was uh begun exactly we you know i i work with uh i work with this band down in panama called enlil and Coincidentally, Enlil is the Lord of Heavenly Waters um, for Sumerian, uh, in, in, in Sumerian myth. Uh, the Lord of the Heavens. But but then it also translates to the Mayans as uh, w- when you go to Teotihuacan in Mexico, um, you know, they have these, the, the two main pyramids are the, the, the pyramid of the, of the sun and the pyramid of the moon. Which is a misconception in itself. It is not the pyramid of the sun. It is not the pyramid of the moon. It is the pyramid of heavenly waters and the pyramid of subterranean waters, which goes into the Chthonics, which uh, Chthonian, um, you know, the word Chthonian has to do with native, inborn, subterranean spirits that are native to Earth, and and uh, you know, and, and then it, it goes like that. So this whole process for me began by the by because they he sent me this uh he sent me this uh this song that had no lyrics to it and i said oh well uh it has no lyrics i'll write the lyrics i don't care if i get the credit for them or or any of this stuff just you know i'm I'm just putting it out there and then uh he ended up rewriting the lyrics in spanish and making them about uh the, the political strife that was going on in sumeria thanks to a certain king called Lugal, and then and 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 there we go. So I I uh by the way I sent you the song. Sorry, um, yeah, cool. the song is is there, um, but it's my incarnation of it because it still has no lyrics. The music is there. The music is not mine, but the lyrics are there, and those are mine. And I'm going to rework them to fit a more um, I don't know a uh, I'm gonna re- rewrite the music basically to to fit whatever I'm feeling at the time. I don't I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I do, I would say that you know, like I said, I'm I'm in I'm making a stand to officially get Odyssey of Fire done soon, but done right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I I really don't want to put a time or or time frame on it um i just you know just soon like with you know just i don't want to put like a a definite time frame but somewhere in the middle 
to end of next year if at the latest yeah to make sure that it's like the best that it can be i think that just sometimes just saying that out loud can help um to get you know the ball rolling if there's like just holding right. yourself accountable and saying it out loud like okay yeah. this is what i'm doing this I'm, I'm yeah i think it's important to set a deadline but i just don't want to make promises to the public yeah. you know like i just don't want to say oh it's going to be done on uh may 24th 2021 yeah. you know like and no that's, you can't, that's it, fair yeah yeah can't rush art you can't rush perfection but... <laughs> <laughs> you know oh this is this can't is rush. so true <laughs> Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm having an artist work on a book cover um, for the book right now. Um, I'm just waiting. She She's a, she's a really cool artist. Uh, she's um, she's working on it. I That's one thing I will post about the book. Like, once she's finished, I'll Ooh. show her on cover. Yeah, that's exciting. Um, I, the only thing I have is this picture of Sui um, that uh that an artist made for me yeah that's what she looks like uh, that's how i imagine her face her hair is gonna be different i imagine her hair is more it's just really hard to get people to understand without actually showing someone and mm -hmm. her hair is just so unique it's not a solid color and it's 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 a very it's it's every every other strand of hair is a certain color so it's so mixed they're all flame colors they're like reds oranges blondes and browns right but there's so so many different random colors that it it's they just blend together and you can't even tell you know it's it's you have like streaks of blonde like really thin streaks and then you got red right next to it and orange and it's just in random places but it's like it's like a collage like it's controlled i love it it's like evenly spread out in color but it's like you know what i mean yeah there there's a and, dream that i had years ago and it was a uh, there was a this was years ago and there was this this woman and she was walking in the wind. Uh, she was mm -hmm. uh, she was on the other side of the street, and I crossed the street. And by the time I got to to the other side of the street, she had already passed me. And I looked behind me, and her hair, in her hair, there was all kinds of different cues of color, as you're saying. Mm -hmm. And uh, and 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 as she walked away, and the wind is blowing her hair, you know, it became clear that there was there was the image of a butterfly on her hair, like in her hair as it's flowing in the wind. Wow. And you could just like kind of see the butterfly flying. Um, and it was all mm -hmm. these different hues of color that made up this, this, I, I don't know what, what kind of butterfly it was, but uh, uh, so like when, when you're talking about this, this is the, the dream. Like I, I see it so clearly, you know, but yeah. you know, that's interesting um because like the thing is with Sui, her hair the way i got the inspiration from that is that i um i used to live in a group home when i was in a, uh, as a teenager mm -hmm. um, you know you know what a group home is mm -hmm. yeah 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 well, some people when i say that they don't know what i mean but but yeah it's like because i i had a lot of difficulties as a teenager this when i was like a in middle school and the hardest uh, time freshman. for everyone oh yeah it was, i feel that yeah but i i was i have i have bipolar mm. and I, it was before i was on the proper medication for mm. it and a, a lot of times you can't just there's a lot of medications that don't work and for you for certain people yep yep are finding the right yep. one you got the right one that <laughs> Side trial by fire unfortunately yep. 
Yeah. That's why it's called medical practice because they, they they don't even know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. And I finally have something that works, and I only I got it like a few years ago at this point, and it works well. But um, when I was a teenager, you know, preteen teenager, like adolescent, I had a lot of anger issues. So. I was put into a group home to try to get some help, like therapy and stuff. Mm -hmm. And and you're surrounded by a group of boys. You don't really see a lot of girls. So um, a friend of mine that was in the group home told me he knew a girl outside of the group home that he wanted me to meet. Her name was Sarah. And uh, spelled S-A-R-A. And he said that her hair, he described her hair as being like the color of flames and not just red, but like different streaks of reds, blondes, browns, and oranges. And that image really stuck with me. And this is, by the way, it's the, during the time that I was thinking about um, create recreating the, the sorcery into something else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um you know, into something bigger. And um, I decided that's, I think that's where I came up with the spelling S U I for soup. And I, I decided instead of black hair, well, originally her, she, she started out with black hair, but whenever she, there there was a, there's going to originally in the the book, uh, the spark a fantasy novel, um, there's a romance early on between Sui and George. And whenever they kiss, George has a curse that is uh, taken away from the kiss. And Sui's hair changes for some inexplicable reason, at least at the time. Mm-hmm. But it does have a significant, it was going to have a significant role that I was going to reveal in the next book. Uh, but. But yeah, she um, her hair changed to flame colors, and I and I, you know, I, I always loved that look for her, and yeah, that's great. I just uh, that's that's where that came from is um, this that image, and I I did draw a picture of this Sarah, and I never wound up meeting her though because I I lot. Uh, I lost contact with the guy, um, right. but like he, um, yeah, I, I, I remember drawing a picture of her, you know, just longing to get out of the group home, and um, and I remember thinking to myself, this is what Suey looks like, you know, just being a a young teenager, just thinking about girls and stuff you know right and i was like yeah i i just like this look for a a character too and you know and so i just used it ever since yeah yeah it's great to be able to draw from you know experiences that are you know deeply personal and are you know completely formative on the person that you're going to become and then turn it into art and you know take whatever pain or you know struggle and make it into something that you know is is beautiful and is you know bigger than that and can help you know to process the feelings and emotions i once heard someone say that uh you know i i can't write i can't write because uh you know, I only write about my personal experiences. I, I, I can only I can only talk about what I, uh, you know, what I've experienced. And, you know, I I don't know if I said this, but I, I do know that the thought process came through me like, well, that's the best way to write because you know yourself, you know, you, you like how better to explain what you're trying to say than yourself in a way, you know, so yes, you, you uh, don't. You're the the biggest, like, professor on your own life, and it's the most authentic way to present information is from your personal experience. Yeah, 
Yeah. So that's uh, yeah, that's a, a beautiful Taylor. You've got you've got you got something going on, brother. Yeah. <laughs> It got it got right. something, man, <laughs> which is beautiful, you know. Well, you know, you're really good at um, you're really knowledgeable about a lot of um mythology and and deep concepts, right? I mean, oh yeah, you know, to, for for the far for the for the longest time, for the longest time, there was so much doubt and how just these things really aren't important in this day and age and then you know they're they're but now having these conversations and stuff it's like no it's all of all of these lessons it's the it's the anamnesis all of these lessons that i learned or or came to to remember all these things they are still applicable, still so relatable today you know it's just yeah some of us just lack the view you know and uh and and i'm just trying to i'm just trying to get a glimpse we we i think we are just trying to get a glimpse of it you know yeah just as as long as uh as long as we can maintain the focus i guess or as long as we can maintain that that fire yeah don't you know, let that... the spark die out like mm -hmm. continue to to fan the flames basically yeah, yes, yes. Right. No, well, pun kind there's of intended, of... but, you know. <laughs> there's a lot of that in the, in the spark. I intentionally try to make metaphors to sparks and flames. Well, and... I keep thinking about from, uh, you know, the, the Last Jedi where, you know, Poe is telling them, you know, we're the spark of the flame that's going to start the, you know, the revolution yeah. and it's like there's I, I love that line i love that scene i love the song that's named the spark it's just like it it perfectly not personifies but pers personifies you know that that concept of being the spark of right. the rebellion and you know like how important it is to to have the spark but also to then keep the flame you know fanned and and the right. momentum up uh, that, yeah. that, that's exactly the reason why like i say the corpus or, or or the body at the end of it all or when the sun comes down doesn't doesn't matter like i, I you know i i had this experience with this with this person before that uh my my lyrics had been stolen uh and and completely re-put onto something else and i got so angry i was so angry at the time this was two years ago and 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 i was i was heated because you know this this medium was not the medium that i wanted you know but then but you know then through through the two years that have happened since then it's like ryman these are these are your words these words were taken by by somebody from you and they were put into the universe in one way shape or the mm -hmm. next so the spark that those words are going to 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 are going to put in other people they they are yours and you can have that satisfaction that you started to spark in somebody else does the credit matter at the end of the day no because this corpus is going to sh uh this is is going to hell you know or, or, well not not in in the literal sense you know yeah. what i mean but you know it, it's going to decay it's going to become nothing but the but the idea that was that was in, inspired from an inner from an inner strife or an inner dialogue or whatever you know like those words are out there so if if somebody stole them hey that's cool you know but it's it's mm -hmm. the movement that that will create you know yeah exactly i feel like odyssey of fire you know and I, i'll be totally happy if this happens you know because it's it's why i am intending i want to move people and have people think and it could become a type of movement you know what i mean mm -hmm. or start a movement or anyway like i feel like people you know, who 
really feel this change happening within the cosmos or within our world you know i feel like it's happening beyond our world really but yeah uh, yeah but yeah like i i feel like people are gonna resonate with it in this day and age and it could um i'd be happy if it started a uh like a shift in thinking and people were talking you know that's what what i want you know i want people i want to help people realize these things yes yes Uh, the 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 ways that you are moving are much better than the the circles the ways that you're moving are better than the ways that i could move you know what i mean because uh you know people will dismiss a song because of you know because of what it sounds like or you know i I, i'm not into that style or this is that tell me who the tell me who out in the world of it in in this in this in in this metatonic era you know tell me who out in this metatonic era doesn't like a movie yeah you know what i mean like it's so much like the the medium that you're using is you know so free yeah the thing the reason why i love film so much and i think a lot of like films are universally for the most part films are universally like adored Mm -hmm. because they combine all art forms when you think about it they combine music they combine sound Mm -hmm. visuals like like paintings or or photography it's but it's moving i mean they even combine like human connection which is what you know everybody's yeah. looking for i mean yeah. films have to be written so it combines literature mm-hmm. everything it's all encompassing all art forms that's why film is like my favorite art form yeah yeah yeah, that's certainly why I chose it. Like, lots of people are like, oh, you should do music, you should do music. And I'm like, yeah, I love to sing and I love, you know, music. But, you know, there's, it's it's a hobby and it's something that I have a passion for. But there's just something extra about film that just there are so many yeah. ways to creatively express yourself that you can include music in that or you can include writing, yeah. just like you said. And it, there's like endless possibilities of creativity and that's just like every single form of art that I like to create in can be done within film but meanwhile I've got these hands and as long as I can give with these hands this is this is is what I'm going to do so I'm I'm with you I'm with you I'm with you in this (laughs) <laughs> we are we are here with you in this mm-hmm. melissa you've got a beautiful mind oh thank you 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 uh, as well yeah you do T- taylor you 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 know you got you know yeah he's and, he's and got audience. it and there's it's not like it's not every day that you come across somebody who is so sure in what they want to do and what their goals are and how they want to create and it's not hard to be inspired and you know want to also be a part of that journey so yeah Yeah. it's i'm i'm just happy to be along for the ride and to see where this goes Mm -hmm. thank you guys yeah Yeah, anytime thank you yeah thank you man you you've got you've got the vision and we are just the agents uh, (laughs) yes (laughs) you know yeah (laughs) And to anyone listening out there, you know, um, we're definitely, you know, we need all the help we can get. If we could get everyone in the whole world to, to help with Odyssey of Fire and anything else, Fancore Entertainment has to make you welcome to join us. Yeah, join the conversation. We're obviously open to hearing all different viewpoints and, yeah. Have yeah. a have a big discussion in the comments of this video at some point. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Beautiful. 
Thank you so much to all the listeners and everybody that has joined us in this uh, in this endeavor. Yes, thank and you. This, and uh, journey. Yeah, thank you guys for coming on. It was really great conversation, and I think it was it was funny. It was under the you know the the umbrella topic of Odyssey of Fire, but I feel like we we covered so many more topics than that. That's just sense a, yeah, a sense of you know a collective kind of. I don't know. Ide if, if, ideology. If, yeah, like it's an odyssey of fire is meant to be the thing that a catalyst for people yeah. to think. Yeah. No, es que se presta para eso. Like, it, it, uh, se, it's, it, se, se, se presta. When, when, uh, because odyssey of fire is such, is such a labor, it can, it, it is relatable it is so relatable to all of the themes that were spoken of in this in this podcast um be, just so it was it, it wasn't like it was so easy to to tackle yeah. these concepts yeah. with your with with your uh with your vision and with your direction you know it was just so easy to tackle all of these elements or all of these uh subjects and stuff under your guise under your yeah under under the umbrella because it, it is such a, a fantastical such a like mystical fantastical uh majestic concept that you know like it just you, you can you can take it and, and you can talk about you can try to tackle any issue that we are facing as a society nowadays you know yeah Right. So thank you for that, Taylor. Yeah. Thank you for being a part of it for sure. Oh, this is just the spark. This is just the beginning, mm -hmm. brother. Yep. This is just, just the, the beginning. beginning. The, the, the the channel trailer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, you so. guys, thank you so much, and you guys have a great day, yes. and everyone home. You know, thank you for listening. Yeah, stay safe, you know, for the fan core, as you say, Taylor. Yeah. Make make sure that, you know, after we, we leave this place here or, you know, here where we're at and what we're doing to uh, make, make sure that every, make sure that every connection or, or link that you make with the next person that you come in to make it a positive one and make sure that uh that you just spread this positivity as as it as it is try to affect try to affect a a, a beautiful or a, or a good thought pattern in a person that you encounter throughout the day you know? absolutely yeah for sure i love you i love you taylor i love you melissa <laughs> uh, thank you so much for for everything and and we'll be and i'll be seeing you on the other side yeah all right thank you, See you guys later. thank yep. you so much yep anytime <laughs> see you in a bit see ya